Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Dan Cartolicchio. I want to welcome you to the Destination Health Podcast, powered by Suburban Wellness Group. We have a very special guest on today. We are very grateful. I want to thank for everybody who's listening in on this today. Our podcast has grown, and we have really the best guest. And today is absolutely no exception. We have former figure and fitness pro on our show, Jenny Lynn. Jenny, thank you very much for coming on. It's really, it's really an honor to have you on. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm excited to be here. Yes, we're going to have fun. So listen, Jenny Lynn was born and raised in Petaluma, California. Did I say that correctly? You started, did. started in fitness right out of high school, certification in 1990, and that was 30 years ago, 12-time IFBB pro figure champ, two times figure Olympia champ, three times Arnold figure champ. You've done it all. You were there from 2000 and 2009, one of the most famous and recognized athletes in your sport. And right now you have changed. You've become an entrepreneur in health and wellness. And we're going to discuss that. How are you today? I'm fantastic. It is uh, two days before Christmas. So I am crazy like everybody else in the world, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be here and excited to chat with you. So thank you for having me. Yeah, it's going to be great. So tell me, tell me the first question that always comes to my mind when I have health and fitness on, were you athletic when you were in like junior high school and high school? Was that something no. that you did? No, right? Not really. You know, I did, I did track in junior high. I don't think I was any good at it, but I tried. <laughs> um, and then I was a cheerleader all through high school. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know that I was exceptional, but you know, I enjoyed it. So, but that was kind of my introduction to fitness at all was uh, cheerleading in high school. So there we go. So after high school, then what happened? Did you, when, when did you start to get into, because you were not figure right away, right? You were fitness initially. I was. So um, out of high school, my high school boyfriend, he did uh, you know, uh, teenage bodybuilding. And so I went to his competition as a teenager. I think I was, you know, a junior in high school, maybe a senior in high school <laughs> and saw his bodybuilding competition. And I was like, well, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And, uh, then he introduced me to the gym. I started teaching aerobics right out of high school. Um, and that was when I got my first certification in 1990 as mm -hmm. teaching aerobics. And then um, from there, uh, I got into something called sport aerobics. And most people in our day and age don't know what that means. But mm -hmm. it's kind of similar to uh, fitness. But I did that kind of directly from there. And then, um, yeah, and then... 2000 I was introduced to the world of fitness a girlfriend of mine was competing in a bodybuilding competition I went uh -huh. and saw her compete and uh, then was introduced to a world of fitness in regards to competitive fitness and I thought well I could do that mm -hmm. and uh, yeah my first competition was in uh, 2000 uh, in fitness there was no pro figure at that time right I remember that there wasn't yeah. anything as no. such right so uh, I was, I had no actual athletic ability whatsoever. I looked good in a bathing suit, period. <laughs> I was going to say, was there, was there any, was there any athleticism, Jenny, anywhere along the line, right? No, not I mean, really. Like, I mean, I I'm sitting here, salt. I'm sitting here and I'm reading your bio and I'm saying, not you know, and everybody's listening and they're like, wow, she was the queen. She yeah, rocked. I, I mean, number one, yeah. number one, right? I know. I, I turned, I actually turned pro in fitness. Now, uh, at, at that point, to turn pro in fitness, two thirds of the vote were on your physique and one third was on your athletic prowess. Okay, I there you go. Dismal at best. Uh, <laughs> I looked good in a bathing suit. So, hallelujah. That's where you, that's where you made it up at that point, there right? There you go. So, uh, anyways, I turned pro in 2001 at the USA's. Uh, in fitness, they had not created a figure yet. I had to compete as a pro in 2002 in mm -hmm. pro fitness. Um, my first competition was the Arnold Classic in 2002 in pro fitness. Mm -hmm. I placed, I think, second to last, and the girl who placed last disqualified. <laughs> oh my goodness! Not a lie. This is real story. All right. So, 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 like, how did that make you feel, though? I mean, it's your first foray into this. I mean, did yeah, you want to continue I mean, on? 
nobody had told me there was figure was coming. So I didn't know the potential of what was in the future. Right, I was right, right. like, hey, I'm here on the stage. It's okay. <laughs> How bad could it be? Right, so, right. Sure. Um, I wasn't I wasn't really upset about it. I knew that I didn't I wasn't a tumbler. I didn't have that background. Um, very fortunately, I think they were afraid that I was going to break my neck or hurt somebody else in my attempts to try to. So um, I got a message saying, hey, Jenny, we're going to create figure as a pro division. And um, if you would like to be, you know, lead that charge, we'll let you compete in 2003 on the Arnold Classic and our first figure division. And I was like, heck yeah, I don't have to t try to tumble, no somersaults. Nothing I'm like in. that. All right, so there's no <laughs> athleticism you don't have to do anymore. And you can just do what you want to do. You're, you're, right, I'm getting in shape. I mean, obviously getting in shape is, I mean, for most of America, getting in shape is the toughest part of the puzzle as well. But I didn't have yes. to tumble. I didn't have to, you know, do things that I had never been trained. So, um, yeah, so my first 2003, uh, I was invited to the Arnold Classic. And Monica Brandt, as I'm certain you know, and most people who would listen to this do know, um, she was my idol. Like, and she's one of my very b best friends to date. But at the time, she was just this fictitious figure that I got to stand on stage next to. So I was so excited. I was going right. to stand on stage next to her at the 2003 um, inaugural figure um, Arnold Classic. Mm hmm and then got to stand on stage with her and lo and behold, she plays second and I place first. And I was like, how did that just happen? <laughs> wow. So yeah. so now the both of you are competitive, you're friends, right? But yeah. now but now you're competing against each other. That's interesting. Yeah. How did that play out? Yeah, it was never anything like we would be, I would be with my mom at a competition and she'd be with her husband and uh, she'd send over like a bowl of ice cream to me. Like, <laughs> so it was never, it was never uh, a lot of animosity. It was friendly fun, right? She right. would stay at my house. I would stay at hers. And, you know, it was, it was never anything hostile at all. We're like, we've been buddies since. Yeah. Then. Yeah. So it wasn't like, Hey, listen, you know, I got, I got a cheeseburger here and I'm going to ah, eat salmon. Well, ice cream you know, would what? be the same. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, you mentioned something a few minutes ago, you know, difficult for Americans to get into shape. And that's very important. I think that's a powerful statement. What were the obstacles back then that you had to come over? Because a lot of Americans are going through obstacles 2020 and COVID. Back then, what were your obstacles in order well, I mean, to get it's in it's shape? Different, uh, it's different for a normal American person as I find myself today uh, compared to a competitor. It's like, it's, it's not the same, right? Mm -hmm. So today my normal hurdles are like, what healthy food am I going to cook today? As right. a competitor, you live in this little bubble and this bubble consists of, you can eat, have whatever lean proteins you can have, you can mm -hmm. have, how much water can you consume? How much exercise you're going to do today? How much cardio are you gonna do today? Um, what lean proteins are you going mm -hmm. to eat? Are you eating your meals structuredly? But this is not normal world for most people. Mm -hmm. um, for most people, and this is where I like to reside now, is helping normal people live normal lives, right? right? And that's just, you know, it's eliminating junk, and, but there's ways to, and that's what I love to cook, and there's ways to make really healthy meals that taste fantastic, mm -hmm. omitting um you know, crummy stuff that maybe we were trained to eat when we were younger, right? Right, right, right. All of those cakes, candies, cookies. Yeah, but I mean, like I make a, <clears throat> I make a peanut butter cookie for my family, I don't know, a couple times a week that's just made with natural peanut butter mm -hmm. and gluten-free flour <laughs> that's right. almond flour. And, but I mean, there's ways to make tasty food that doesn't have harmful ingredients. Right. And you know what? You can send some over to me if you want, if you have any extra, <laughs> you know, I have, I have no problem, you know, just send it, just send it to the office. Don't even send it here to the house because my son's going to get it before I get it. All so, right. Fair so, enough. My, so, I think it's when my dog's barking downstairs. He wants some, <laughs> he wants some peanut butter treats. I, I, and my dog, we were, you know, you were concerned about your dog. I have a 12 uh, pound cockapoo and he was going before. Um, yeah. So, you know, that's interesting because you want to help out those everyday people become healthier. And that's important. And, you know, you and I are kind of living in parallel universes when it comes to that. 
And yeah. during the time of COVID in 2020, that's been a difficult fight. I mean, I've, I've had a lot of patients coming in, Dr. Dan, they're gaining that quarantine 15, sure. they're gaining more. And it's, 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 it's a constant struggle for them because they hear about all of this stuff going on in 2020, and now they're just eating the, the ultra processed foods. Do you sure. find that a lot with your uh, clients? Well, if so, they're not telling me. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, you know what? I mean, I think everybody's struggling to um, to some extent. Um, but uh, for what I've found personally for myself is I found it like I love to cook. So I just mm -hmm. found like me and the internet, people are like, oh, how do you learn to cook like that? If you can read, you can cook. <laughs> so <laughs> right. it's, not, it's, it's not like I'm not doing that. Uh, trigonometry over here i'm just like, <laughs> i'm reading something and i'm like oh that sounds good and i sometimes i try and i fail that's okay right i made some cabbage something last night my husband's like what is this i'm like not <laughs> sure not sure check it out if it sucks so, we won't do it again <laughs> so so at least you have a good a good sense of humor about it because if it came out and it really wasn't so good and he said honey Let's go out to dinner tonight. Uh, You're okay with that. That's yeah, that's, that's all good. He could eat a sandwich every day. He'd be fine. So I married, I married <laughs> the right man. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. So so that's interesting. Now, now you know, you and I were talking about this before. You know, there's a difference between figure competitors today and the way it was when you were competing. And even, and even before that, I have some clients that I'm working with nutritionally and it's it's they look like they're more defined more muscle bound today correct um I I just think that the ideal uh mm -hmm. has changed right so um and I've I when I walked off the Olympia stage in 2009 I didn't really go back I didn't ever look I didn't really follow um due to social media, which has changed obviously since then, now a decade later, um, I get a chance to watch what's happening virtually. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, they're, they're more muscular, but it's mm -hmm. no different to our, when we started talking prior to this was, you know, Rochelle McLeish and Corey Everson, what they right. were when they started, you right. know, I mean, they didn't, they didn't see for foresee figure coming, but I would say if I'm, you know, hindsight, looking back on it, I probably had a physique of Rachel or Corey early days, you know right. what I mean? Um, as probably the bikini competitors today mm -hmm. to what I was, to what she was. Um, but I can, I can give applause and praise to everyone from beginning to end and everywhere in between and everyone Absolutely. forward, because it doesn't matter. It's just whatever is what, uh, judges or your criteria is at this particular moment is applauding. It doesn't matter if you were the best of the best right. at that moment, or even if you're striving to be the best moving forward, um, it, it's all evolving, right. right? That's how I see it. So right. I can look back and go, wow, you know, Rick, Rochelle McLeish and right. Corey, like bravo to where you've been. And I can look right. at the gals today that are winning and say, you know, bravo to where you're at. And, um, you know, I hope that they can do the same too. I was just a piece of the puzzle in between. That's oh, you were a big, you were a big piece of the puzzle. That's, <laughs> you know, definitely, you know, I have, I have some, uh, you know, clients and, you know, they're like, am I getting too big? Am I like, no, you know what? It's grace, it's power, it's beauty. It's, it's, it's what is there today so let's go with it and sure. let's and let's make sure that you're ready to compete and so forth yeah. so so how did it feel i mean 12 ifbbs two olympias three arnolds how'd that feel i mean you, you must have been on top of the world at that time um uh, yeah yeah of course <laughs> of course um but it means like you don't know what you don't know right so if you experience oh, yes. something for the first time right and you're like uh, and I've been there a couple times in multiple different facets of my life, but you don't know what you don't know and you don't think it's ever going to end. Right. So, um, but I can now with some wisdom at 48 years old, so I can look back at it and go like, well, I'm, I'm very thankful for that chapter. Right. You know, absolutely. it was a, it was a, it was a neat chapter 
and I got to pioneer something I knew nothing about. And right. I had an amazing time. I helped a whole bunch of people. Right. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it was great. Um, but I kind of looked towards life as to like, that was awesome. Cool. What's next? Yeah. What's, you know what? What you, and, and, you got? <laughs> but, yeah, what, what else is there, right? So when you said the word pioneer, I'm writing down trailblazer, which is the same thing. I mean, you were, you were that trailblazer sure. that, that was the next, that was the next generation. What, what was your mindset during that time? Because I like to talk about that mindset of a champion. Sure. What was that for you during that time? And I would imagine if you had Corey and myself and Rachel and Monica and maybe Devonna and even the, mm -hmm. the girls of today, and we were all on this, we would probably all say the same thing. It wasn't, I wouldn't, I don't think we were ever uh, about competing against anybody else. We're about becoming our best person, being our best self. Meaning right. like I, then there was plenty of times I did a spinning class with Monica next to me and all of that. Oh, I'm getting this girl. Yeah, but I'm going to beat her. Was, I'm, no matter what, I got her today, yeah, right? Yeah. But right. I'm bit, it was always about, I would look at pictures from the last competition and go, this needs improvement, that needs improvement. Mm -hmm. And what could I do? I mean, I flew from Northern California to Southern California once a week to train with Charles Glass, specifically mm -hmm. on legs, just so that I could have that improvement. And that took, you know, that took some drive. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> right. You had to have that growth mindset where you wanted this. Right. And, you know, sometimes when individuals look at themselves and they say, listen, you know what, this needs, you know, this needs to be better. It could be anything in life because you can sure. take this and you can make it applicable to what you're doing today in business. Right. Sure. You know, because that's just a learning lesson that sure. you have. And it takes a lot to sit there and say, I need to do this better. It takes a certain level of maturity. It takes a certain level of self-awareness, self-respect in order to do that. And I find that amazing because you're looking at yourself, right? And people are judging you on your aesthetics, yeah. right? And they're, and they're judging you. And now you're saying, you know what? I need to work on perhaps my abs a little bit more. Right. So that, so that took a lot. So kudos to you for doing that. And, and, to making, and to making that happen. So let me ask you a question. Did you have any injuries during the course of your career? Mm. Injuries are always the things that just say, hey, listen, you know what? I need you to know, step I away. Didn't, not, not really. I was, I was really blessed. Um, to early 2008, <laughs> I went snow skiing and I tore in my ACL getting off a bunny slope chairlift. None of it's attractive or good or yeah, it's like, <laughs> you're like, right. you need a better story. You're running, to, you know, double diamonds, you know, right there. No, right. bunny slope chairlift. It wasn't good. Anyways, um, I tore my ACL then. So, you know, I'd won the Olympia 2006, 2007, and then in the fall or in, um, January tore my ACL. So getting back to what I was able to do, but I think also, I mean, being all completely honest here that, you know, I'd already won the Arnold three times. I won the Olympia twice. I was kind of at the point where I was at a crossroads myself personally, like, did I want it as bad as I did previously? And this might be the first time I've ever publicly said that, but it was truthful. Like, you know, you wouldn't take those chances if you were at a point where like winning again was the most important thing I've played. Maybe right. I was just ready to, you know. Was that kind of, was that kind of, thank you for sharing that. If that's the first time you've said that, that's, yeah. you know, it, was that kind of the deciding factor? Like, okay, you know, maybe it's time to retire. Maybe it's time, um, maybe it's time to say, okay, goodbye at this, at this particular juncture. It wasn't. Actually, no, mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, well, then I'll just show everybody I can repair through this and this and that. And then I came back and I placed fourth and I was all right with it. Um, mm -hmm. It was more 2009 was kind of the year that I was just like, Jenny, who else are you got? What else are you going to prove? What are you going to do? And then it was, a, and then it's a lot of, you know, mind games. This is all you've known for decades now. Right. So what are you going to do with your life? <laughs> now what? So, right? so, so what happened? What happened when you, when you retired? What did you do? What was um, that next phase for you? 
Yeah. So I was introduced to um, a friend of a friend of a friend introduced me to a company who was doing a 90 day challenge, what I have done for decades, Mm -hmm. uh, similar to what I do today. And, uh, but it was a company that kind of with the same format. And I was like, well, I don't know anything about this, but I'm interested at least learning. Mm -hmm. And um, then I had somebody who kind of took me under his wing. He was the CEO of this company and it was, the platform was a direct sales company I didn't know anything about. I've never mm-hmm. sold anything in my life. Uh, I've only sold myself, <laughs> essentially. And I right, know. right. I understand. I was <laughs> going to say, no, we, we, all, we all sell ourselves, right, yeah, in, in I our mean, business. Meaning, like, I've only sold my knowledge. I've only sold personal training. I've only sold right. my experiences. But um, so I was like, yeah, I'm not a salesperson. It's not really my shtick. So I don't think this is something I can do. And he said, Jenny, can you share some stories? And I was like, all right, well, maybe I can share stories. And uh, so then what I, the first thing I did was I put my family, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister-in-law on this 90 day challenge. And mm-hmm. I thought, well, if it works for them, then at least in my heart, I can feel comfortable about right. sharing this, um, this transformation. So my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister-in-law lost collectively I don't know, 250 pounds. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Jenny, so, holy moly. That's yeah. that's a lot of weight. It is. Yeah. That so is a ton point, of weight. Yeah. But it was all wrapped around meal replacement shakes and vitamins and healthy eating and everything right. I had been talking to them about for 20 years. But it was And nobody wrapped. listened to you, right? No, and nobody no, listened to no, you no, during no. that time. Because they're like, I can't do what you do, but I can drink a shake. I can eat sure. a cookie. I can, I can have some vitamins. So it was something wrapped in a present, uh, presentable way to my family that wasn't just Jenny, I can't do what you do. So I went, okay. And then when my family had a transformation, I was like, okay, well, that's something I can do. I can share my story, share my story. And I had lots and lots of success with that company, helped a whole bunch of people, Mm -hmm. um, have, you know, physical transformations and then was able to find kind of my next chapter in life. Right. So, so you went from being on the stage. Now you're doing the personal training. You got your transformation, you know, 90 day challenge going and you're ready to help out as many people as you possibly can, Correct. you know, and, it, and it's important because, you know, I find that when I get patients in, they're really, you know, morbidly overweight, they don't work out. I mean, something as simple as, you know, heart victims, you know, people who've had heart attacks, Sure. You're, you know, you're cleared by your cardiologist. Go walk 15 minutes out of your house and then walk 15 minutes back so that you can start losing some weight. You start feeling better about yourself right. also. Right. I mean, I think that's I think that's also important. So you've been doing this transformation challenge for quite a quite a number of years now. Long time, long time. Well, considering I started helping folks get healthy in 1990 and it's right. almost 2021, I'd say a little bit. <laughs> I've been Absolutely. after the stick for a little bit. So yeah. Yeah, I'm excited about it. And that's what really, I mean, when I get texts and calls and you know, inboxes from people saying, like, hey Jenny, because you helped my aunt lose 10 pounds because she started, you know, eating small meals throughout the day, or she started walking around the block, you know, I'm inspired to do the same. How can you help me? And it's just it's a trickle-down effect, but that's in my opinion, that's our purpose here on earth is to help people lead better, healthier, happier lives. So that's yeah, in our, in our business, that's, about. that's exactly what we do. I love that you said that, you know, because if we can motivate, we can educate, we can inspire somebody that's really, really good, especially during this time. Sure. People are, people are quarantined. People are in, they're not sure. in the, and the, there's a lot of anxiety and depression going on right now throughout the world. And so, you know, we can hopefully be a beacon of light for that and make sure that they can get out a little bit and they can go through your transformation program and so forth. So tell me now, what does the transformation program entail? So basically, so anybody, so I'm starting my next transformation challenge on uh, January 2nd of this year. So I don't know, I haven't looked at the calendar yet today, but I mean, we're a week and a half or so away. And um, basically, uh, you're just going to contact me and I'm going to make sure that Dan gives you my info. Absolutely. It's going to be right in the show notes, right? Yeah. 
So contact me and say, hey, Jenny, I'd like your help. Uh, you it doesn't matter what the help is. Like, I'd like to lose 10 pounds. I want to have more clarity. I don't know. I want to learn to walk around the block. I don't care what your goal is. I, that's really my, my purpose on earth is honestly just to help people achieve goals. And then we achieve that goal and then we'll achieve the next one. Um, so, but transformation, I would say 90% of anybody achieving some sort of a physical transformation is, is nutrition. Right. And um, this is what I've done for, you know, three decades now is help people make the smartest choices on what they're putting in their mouth mm -hmm. so that they can get their body moving in the productive way so that we can then, you know, tackle one goal. Maybe it's walk around the block. Fantastic. You do that for a week. Jenny, right. now what? Cool. So let's add this into your diet. Let's add this in. And then Jenny, now what? Okay. So I did it twice. Okay. Now I'm walking up a hill. Okay. I joined right. the gym. Okay. You know, I went to the grocery store, I bought these handful of things, but little by little, I can help you. Obviously, Dr. Dan can help you as well, but collectively we can be, um, we can be some, some help. And uh, my goal is for 2021 to be considerably more productive and healthier than 2020 was for all of us. So yeah, 2020 was a, um, was a downtime and it was a bit of a bummer. <laughs> and um, to say to say the least, and even during this time, when 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 this COVID hit, you know, you know, my son and I, we were out shooting baskets. We were going for runs. You know, we have a gym in the basement. We got we got we got a gym in the garage, and we're working out. He plays hockey. He plays hockey at a high level. So I said, you got to continue to train. You know, just because you're doing a homeschool thing right now, you need to continue to train. You need to continue to eat right. And, you know, I wanted to do that for all of my clients and patients, because I think that's extremely important to do, you know, without, without having that, you know, physically and mentally, you know, your body starts to deteriorate, right? Mentally, physically, it starts to deteriorate. So I love that you're taking somebody and what do they, and what do you contact them? What do you contact, contact them weekly? Do they contact you? weekly during this 90 day yeah. transformation? Well, I mean, I give everybody my email address, my telephone number, my, I mean, like you can- I, You're very, it. you're very generous. My, my patients, <laughs> <laughs> my patients have my, my cell phone. to contact me. So, but people, <laughs> they'll be like at the grocery store. They'll be like, Jenny, can I eat this? I'll be like, uh, no. <laughs> no. Wait a you, second, yeah. hold on, hold on, Jenny. So, <laughs> so I have patients that when they're shopping for food, They'll take a picture of what it is they want to buy, right? Are they sending you ah. a picture of that, right? Ah. Oh, and you're sitting there saying, no, who told you that you can eat this, right? This box cracker stuff, but it says right. this right here. And right. I'm like, well, there's no truth in labeling, you know? So let's yeah. move on from there. Let's get those healthy fats. Let's get those high impact carbs. Let's right. get those lean proteins going on in there so that you can be healthy and wealthy and all of that stuff. Right. So it's really an interesting, it's, it's very, it's very, very interesting. So January 2nd is the next one you're going yeah. to have. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I am, I'm, like I said to you, I'm, I'm pretty open. I'm so if somebody contacts me on, Je <laughs> on February 14th and says, Hey, Jenny, I'm ready to start now. I'm not going to let anybody go without um, information so, and or training or help, right? So, so you could start just about at any time and, and you'll be able- time. I'm kind of an, open, like I told you, I'm kind of an open book. And, uh, but my goal, honestly, my goal in life is truthfully just to help people lead healthier lives. And um, I know that I've got the knowledge. So there's no sense in, you know, me not having, having, 30 plus years of knowledge wrapped up in my head and me not sharing it with the world. And, um, and I know that God put me here honestly to help lead people to be there. I love that. Selves. So I love that. I love that. And so you, you mentioned people in the world. So anybody in the world can, can really yeah. join, right? There's no, sure. there's no restriction. It's gotta be on the West coast of the United States of America. No, no, I'm on the East coast. I've got a gal who just enrolled me yesterday, just, uh, in, large, in part because of business, but in part because of the challenge. Mm -hmm. um, and she's in Australia. And so mm -hmm. she's 16 hours ahead of me. So we got to do a little 
play time. I talk to her at seven at night, which is 11 in the morning her time, but it's all good. <laughs> we'll work with it. It's okay. You'll work, you'll work with it. You'll work <laughs> yeah. with it. I love that. I love that. So you went from being on the top of the world and then you transferred and you pivoted very nicely, Jenny, into using your knowledge to help a lot of people out. I love that. I think that is phenomenal. Kudos to you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I would say for uh, for people that are out there, there's a lot of um, gals that are uh, that are that want to be a pro in fitness or figure, and then they become this, uh, what regardless of how big they become, but then they don't know how to leverage it into something else. And that was something that I've been really, really successful at is um, leveraging my namesake into kind of- how Nothing to, wrong with that. How to, how to catapult it into the next thing. And I've been very successful in finding a way to leverage that. And so anybody that listens to you and or to me, I would love to help those people like, okay, Jenny, so I'm, you know, the, you know, best known name. I don't care if it's in figure fitness or bobsledding for that matter. Right. In, uh, in North right. Dakota, how can I, how can you help me leverage my brand? And you and I together can work on this. Obviously you've done a lot with podcasts, but I've done a lot um, in other fields that I can help these people leverage their brand, which I think you and I could collaborate on that. Yeah, you know what? I was just thinking that there's there's got to be a way for you and I to work together and collaborate and to help and help help even more a wide a wider audience and and you know both both of our skill set and our knowledge skill education training and experience. So we'll talk sure. about that when we get off the podcast and we'll and we'll see what we can do with that. Awesome. So how can people contact you? That's that's the important thing. We're almost done. We're up. We're at, we're at like about forty-five minutes right now. All right. Well, I'll be. This is this is this is this is gone, Jenny. This is gone really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I'm easy to talk to. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, we're just we're just rocking here, you know. <laughs> um, so my email address, easiest for people to reach me at, is Jenny J E N N Y Lynn L Y N N Fitness F I T N E S S at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. um, I won't put my telephone number on there just due to the gun tonight. Like, let's not do that. Right. Um, on Instagram, it's uh, at Jenny Lynn Fitness. Um, my married last name is Powell, P O W E L L. So, Jenny Lynn hyphen Powell. You can find me on Facebook there. I don't know. I'm easy to find. Like, you're, 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 you're just somewhere. I'm no matter, right. no matter, yeah, I'm, I'm around. <laughs> no matter, no matter where you are, you're there, and and, and people will find you. I'll make sure that these they, that all of these are in the show notes, cool. and I'll make sure that people will be able to contact you. I think this awesome. is great. I think this is great. We're almost done. We're almost done. I got a couple of more questions. What's the next aspect of your life? Oh, you said you, you you said you were 48, right? So you're I hitting am. at 50. I am. I'm pushing 60. I'm pushing 60. I don't feel 60 years old. I don't feel 48. So that's, it's a win. Virtual it's a win. High five. High five. <laughs> so, so what's, what's, what's your next I venture? I don't know. I, mean, I, I think it'll always be around health and wellness because it's just, it's in my heart, it's in my soul. It's something, it's all I've ever done. It's all mm -hmm. I've ever been passionate about. Um, I don't, you know, I just, Honestly, I just, I just like to help people truthfully. Yeah. Like, so I don't know if somebody gave me $10 million tomorrow, I would probably just go, you know, I just go, I'd probably give it away. Truthfully. Let's yeah. <laughs> I mean, keep a little more. bit, invest a little bit and yeah, then, okay. and so then help people all of it. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> but, um, I would, no, but I mean, like I would go, I would probably just go date, donate my time truthfully. Right. Um, but I don't know what the next chapter is. But uh, my heart's open, my mind's open, and um, just I'm excited about, you know, being at a point in my life where I can just help people kind of guide their path. I right. can share my knowledge. I don't have it all by any stretch of the imagination. I, gotta, I can share with you what's worked for me. I can share, with, and then I can help you, you know, slide through life. That's what I got. I love it. Listen, to all of our listeners out there, New Year's is coming up, right? 
and it's a couple of days before Christmas and people are going to be making their New Year's resolution. This particular podcast that you're going to be listening to right now is going to be released December 28th. And so you're listening to this. What is your New Year's resolution? I don't like to make resolutions, but it's a new year. So let's let's get some goals going, right, Jenny? Let's get some goals going. And one of those goals always has to be health and fitness. Now, listen, 12-time IFBB figure pro, three times Arnold, you know, twice Olympia. I mean, you're not going to get any better, guys and girls. So, you know, we recommend Jenny. So you really, really need to contact her. You need to at least have that conversation with her, all right? And you need to at least check it out so that she can help you out because, you know, a lot of people are coming out of 2020 in worse health than they entered 2020, right, Jenny? Correct. And so we need, we need to make sure, we need to make sure that you're in, you know, better health because listen, you wanna be healthy, you wanna be strong, you know, you know, bacteria, viruses are out there. You got to fight them off. So it's all extremely, extremely important. So please, I think, I think it's, it's a really good idea to contact Jenny and, and, and have a conversation with her and sign up for this. So Dan, I've got a question for you. Tell me, ask me. All right. We're going to, we're going to do, we're going to do a role reversal here. We're do, we are doing Jenny. a role reversal. All right. So go ahead. As 2021 is approaching, I would like to hear your health goals for 2021? I'm going to tell you my health goals for 2021. Are you joining my challenge? You want me to join the challenge? You want me to get involved? (laughs) You want me to get involved? I do want you to get involved. I'm involved then. We'll we'll discuss that afterwards. All right. right? And we can, and we can actually document my, um, I like it. We can, we, we can document my progress during that time. So, So, you know, during, during, uh, before, before COVID hit, I I was gaining a lot of weight. I was gaining some weight. And next thing you know, when I'm like 15 pounds heavier than I was, and I've lost that weight and I like to lose another 15 to 20 pounds. What happened was, is I was feeling really tired and I thought it was because of the weight. And my partner is a medical doctor. She's board certified in obesity medicine, internal medicine. We did some blood work and so forth. And she, um, and she called me up crying one day and she said, your platelets are dangerously low. They're really non-existent. So I said, well, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking leukemia. You're thinking leukemia. And she said, um, you know, yes, I am. But we did some further testing and uh, we tested for some enzymes. I'm, I'm, I have an autoimmune condition called thrombocytopenia and I need to lose some more weight and my diet needs to be better every day. And listen, I'm a clinical nutritionist, right? And Jenny, sometimes you struggle with eating, right? Sometimes, sure. you know, we're a sure. little bit older and, and, you know, we're not competing and, and, and we oh. struggle. So I want to lose another 10 pounds, 12 pounds. So Jenny, I, I, I accept. Your- you accept my challenge. I accept your challenge. All right, I like it. And sometimes, and again, I mean, obviously you're you're beyond qualified to, to do your own, but sometimes um, just having somebody else. I talk to personal trainers all the time that right. I'm like, hey, can I just take your at-home workouts? Can I just do it? I've been telling myself what to do for 30 years. And they're right. like, oh, Jenny, I totally get it. I listen to such and such, or I listen to such and such. And sometimes as somebody who's done this as long as you and I have, it's just right. nice to have a accountability or be right. just another set of ears outside of, I could talk myself into pretty much anything. <laughs> <laughs> and you have somebody kicking you in the derriere to get you moving to do that. Let's go. Let's All go, right. Dan. Let's go. All right. So challenge accepted. Bravo. I love it. Yes. Well, challenge you didn't, you didn't accepted. see that coming, did you? <laughs> no, I did not, by the way. That was, Jenny, that was a curveball. And I leaned back a little bit and I waited on the curveball and I hit it out of the park. So you sure did. Awesome. Well, I'm it's excited, all, I'm excited all good. to share this with uh, with everybody as we progress. So, but thank you very much for having me on today. I appreciate it. Excited for our next, and we will share with them your documentation on improvement. Yes, we will. We'll, 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 and we're going to discuss that. So I want to thank everybody for being here today. 
please contact Jenny. I have challenges accepted. Thank you very much, Jenny, for being on. It's been a pleasure having you on. And for everybody, I'll have every all, all of the particulars in the show notes. I'm Dr. Dan, uh, suburbanwellnessgroup.com, 973-483-2277. Thank you very much, Jenny, for being on. Thank you, everybody. Okay, and have a great new year. We'll talk to you soon. I know. Thank you.